down. It's looking terribly ugly. The, ma the men are getting edgy. Yeah, so am I. Come on, Joe, make it snappy, will you? Come on, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, Sam. There's thousands of dollars worth of stuff in that old rust bucket. I'm not getting out of here without it. Are you kidding? Stop worrying. Stake it out and be back up in 10 minutes. these waters well, Sam. I've never seen the like of this before. Get me a lug. I'm going down to get him. He's come up! Bad as I thought, Joe. How long to get her into shape? Uh, rudder stock's bent. A couple of sprung plates. Uh huh. That mess on deck. Three, four days. And we're out of fresh water. Let's go ashore and see what they've got, eh, sir? like that before. The whole ocean bottom must have been torn up. Looks like they're a pretty hard hit. Yeah. Hi. Is there a harbor master we can talk to? How do you end with an issue? Gaelic, huh? Doesn't sound like welcome in any language.
Hey, kid, is your father at home? I don't have a father. Oh. Well, does the harbor master live here? It's the right place you come to, then. Come in. You say the harbor master lives here? Yes, but it's a city man he is. A government man. Well, who is he? What's he do? McCartan's his name. Calls himself an ar archaeologist. What's your name? Sean. I work for him. Doing what? Well, bits of this and bits of that. Cleaning up the things he finds. What things? You want to see them, then? Yeah, sure. What do you know? That's been under the sea for a thousand years, they say. Viking, looks like. Yeah. That's it. There was a great sea battle right off the bay here, and we are drove them off and sank their ships. What's that? That's Ogre, the sea spirit. Just grand work he did that day. Sounds like St. Patrick and the Snakes. What are you doing here? You get out. I'm Joe Ryan. Uh, my partner, Sam Slade. Hi. McCartan's the name. Salvage vessel, aren't you? Yeah. I thought so. Did the boy tell you about all this? Yeah, a little. This stuff has no real value, except to us eggheads. But since it turned up, no ships allowed at Nara Island for more than 24 hours without a permit. Well, look, friend, we're not seaworthy. We won't be for three or four days. I don't make the artist. That's the way it is. Anyway, we're afloat. Come on, Sam. Hey, how about fresh water? We'll give you that. Thanks. No hard feelings now. Oh, no. You believe him? Not this permit? No. Well, something's eating him. I wonder what. I don't know. Come on. Maybe we'll swing a little more weight around here if we find out. Hey, Joe! Look! Slag her off, Harry. Are you having any luck? You know, Joe, they can talk English every bit as good as you and I can. They just don't want to, that's all. You try him, Harry. You said there's no time for talking with strangers, and McCartan does all the talking on the island. Two of the divers didn't come up, Joe. They think they're gone. Gone? There's one. Call Wilshire, for the end with the mission. That's what's worrying McCartan. He's dead. Dead, huh? You saw him come up. You ask me, he died of fright. This is crazy. 
There was a man lost down there today, not even a trace. Another one saw something that scared him to death. Look, Sam, you don't want to go? Don't go. I'm going, all right. Just to make sure that you get back. Sure. With a hat full of gold. Get set. Yeah, OK. What did you see, Sam? I don't know. But whatever it was, I never want to see it again. How goes it, Sam? These are the last few barrels coming on board now. Oh, it is, is it? Look, kid, get down off there, will you? About the permit. What about the permit? It's a heathen lie. Maybe we better see what this joke has got in mind. Where is he? Come on, then. Harry. What's going on here? They think a shark got the man who was lost. Mr. McCartan, I hear you've got a beef. You were snooping around out there. My divers told me. Yeah, and I suppose they told you to give us all that jazz about a permit. Are you doubting my word? You're right, Mr. McCartan, I am. After you load with water, you leave. Tonight. The sooner, the better. How do you end with an issue?
says a man looks like he's got a real problem. Uh-huh. I'll bet he'd pay through the nose if he could solve it for him. We'll be wanting a passage on your ship just as soon as his nibs here gets around to giving us our pay. Now, hold on. You'll get your pay if you like. There'll be no taking a passage on any ship. Why not? Yeah. Now, for God's sake, let's go inside and talk about it. Sure. If they all leave now, my boatmen, my divers, the lot of them, the whole thing will go to smash. Me? I kind of see their point. Got any other reason for not wanting them to leave? What do you mean? Oh, like, uh, maybe they talk too much. Where did you get those? The same place as you. Supposing we got rid of that thing for you. The beast? Do you think you can? Maybe. Let's take another look in there first, huh? Open the safe. You've done all right for yourself. How about this for a down pen? Do you like this one, Sam? You must be out of your mind to think like that's priceless. And how do you think you're going to dispose of it? Oh, you must have figured out a way. I bet we can. You dirty black man. Shut up! You're getting off easy, friend. Could have grabbed the lot. When will you start? Now. Why not? Mr. Ryan! Mr. Ryan! What is it, kid? You'll be trying to catch him. Ogre. Yeah, maybe. Not afraid, are you? No, but it's a bad thing you're doing. A terrible bad thing, Mr. Ryan. Why don't you call me Joe? Okay, Joe. Okay, Sean. We might be able to catch him in the nets. Yeah, but how do you propose to kill a thing like that? Oh, I don't know. Uh, dynamite, maybe. Ever stop to think what a thing like that might be worth alive? Think you'll catch him with that? Sure, why not? I figure that the light selectors are sort of lure. If that doesn't work, we'll try something else. Okay, Harry, come on. Okay. Johnny, pot! Ready when you are, Joe. Okay. Take her up! Out! Lower away! Down! Uh, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, give me about 15 fathoms. Down! Sam? Sam? Ten fathoms, how's that? Okay. That'll do. Give me four to five knots. Yeah, slow engine. Headed down the bay. Slow engine!
Anyone, can you hear me? Stop engines! Stop engines! Yeah, Sam, not too fast. I don't want to lose him. Slow up. Up, up. Or she'll snap the cable. Drop your nets! Drop your nets! Drop the nets! All hands on nets. Hurry on. Which one? Take it up. Slam the nets. Drop it. Drop it. of the entire world are being monopolized by the news of the capture of a fantastic monster, seemingly of prehistoric origin, off the coast of Ireland. Puzzled scientists are already speculating that the monster may have been released from some vast suboceanic cavern far beneath the Earth's crust by unprecedented volcanic eruptions which occurred in the area last week. Some scientific authorities are suggesting that the whole thing is merely an elaborate Irish hoax. Nevertheless, the Irish government are sending two of their top paleontologists to claim the creature for Ireland, if it does exist. There's your friend, Professor. I'll tell my partner you're here. Radio, Skipper. Well, those two professors from Dublin have just come on board. Show them out. Amazing. I wonder if you realize, Captain Ryan, the enormous scientific value of this discovery. I think we do, Professor. Well, then, I shall wireless the University of Dublin wants to make preparations to receive the animal. I see. You will proceed to Dublin and... Or you'll be properly compensated for your services. Oh, sure, sure. Well, we'll... we'll meet there. Unless you'd like one of us to go with you. Oh, that won't be necessary, Professor. Oh, there's one thing. The animal's skin should be kept wet with a continuous stream of water. I see. This is most important. Now, I'll take care of it. When do you intend sailing, Captain? Tonight, if that's okay by you. So the better. See you in Dublin. University of Dublin. Properly compensated. Big deal. Take a look at this, Sam. It's from Jorkin Circus in London. They mm. offer 30,000 against 50% of the gross. Set a course for London, Sam. to go back to the sea.
little nuthead. What do you think you're doing? Hey, take it easy. I can't let him go back to the sea where he belongs. Why? Maybe to save your silly skins for you. I've a good notion to toss you over the side. You wouldn't be sending me back now. Harry? Yeah? Better get our little stowaway into a bunk and wash his face. Harry, put a guard on that thing 24 hours and give him a rifle. Right now, John. I could be watching him for you, know? Yeah, you. You'd be great, wouldn't you? Mm. Now, if it so much as moves, start shooting and then run like the devil. Tell us something, kid. Anyone ever see that thing before? And why should anybody have to see it to know it's there? Go back to sleep, kid. Just phosphorus, Sam. But it's coming from the scuppers. It's the water off the animal. So it's still salt water. You seeing spirits too? Ah! Roach! Roach, quick! biology and you turn it into a circus freak. Outrageous. Quite apart from the fact that you stole it. Now, that's a matter of opinion. What's the row about? You know absolutely nothing about this animal. It's extremely dangerous. We've managed to handle it all right so far. Carry disease-bearing parasites or unknown bacteria. And you bring it into the heart of a great city. Look, what do you want? First, the opportunity to make a complete study. Okay doesn't interfere with business. Believe me, gentlemen, once the animal's installed in Battersea Park, you'll be given every facility. I presume you thought of the need of giving the animal a tranquilizing drug before you transport it? Because if you haven't, you'd better. Very well, I'll lay that on then. Good day. In our most unusual telecast to date, we bring you the arrival of Gorgo. This creature, which should have been extinct 10 million years ago, is truly an awesome sight as it is transported through the streets of modern London on its way to Battersea Park. Of course, Londoners are notoriously skeptical, and a good many we've spoken to still seem to think it's all some sort of circus stunt. But this animal is real. Take my word for it. The police have cleared all unauthorized traffic along the route as a precautionary measure. Although we're assured there's no danger, the creature has been given massive doses of tranquilizer. Much closer to this thing, and I could do with a bit of tranquilizer myself. Actually, it's no joke. There are rumors that the animal has killed a number of persons already in the process of its capture. Now you see the circus grounds at Battersea Park and the Festival Gardens where Gorgo, as he is called, we don't know why, will be exhibited to the public. Here we can see the intrepid Captain Ryan, the one with the cap, getting out of the car with his partner, Mr. Slay. They are the men who captured the animal, and I don't envy them the job. And our own Mr. Dorkin, of Dorkin Circus, in the checkered suit. And by the way, we'll be interviewing Mr. Dorkin shortly at Battersea Park, so stay with us.
And of course, ladies and gentlemen, I realized at once that this was the most shattering scientific discovery of the 20th century, and so I contracted for the exhibition of the animal. We have, uh, we've built a special enclosure. You will see it later on. We, we rushed the job through just so everyone in London would have an opportunity of seeing Gorgo for themselves. Question? I have a report from Dublin that the Irish government are going to take legal proceedings to recover the animal. Yes, I believe that to be true. Of course, the matter will have to go through the courts in the usual way. And since I've no way of knowing how quickly they'll reach their decision, I suggest that anyone who wants to see Gorgo does so soon at Battersea Park. That name, Gorgo, does it have any special significance? Oh, my dear sir, of course. The monster of Greek mythology, the Gorgon. A creature so terrifying that the mere sight of it would turn a man to stone, excuse me. And how much money do you expect to make out of it? I'll answer that question later on. Lower away. Lower away. Easy. Okay, Sam. Easy does it. Or. Or. Tranquilizer seems to be working. So far. Wire cutters, quick. Okay. Cut the net, boss.
Gorgo, the eighth wonder of the world. Everybody in the world is talking about Gorgo, but only you can see him, and only here at Dawkins. Queuing both sides, five shillings, ladies and gentlemen. Bring the children very instructive. This way, hurry, hurry, hurry to see Gorgo, the last remaining link with prehistoric times. Only five shillings, ladies and gentlemen. Five shillings to see Gorgo. There are still a few remaining places. Queuing both sides, bring the children very instructive. What's that, madam? Looks like your husband. Go inside and find out. 65 foot high Gorgo, and heavier than six elephants. <laughs> Ice cream here. Get your ice cream. Peanuts! Popcorn! Hot butter popcorn! Roasted peanuts here! Looks like a full house. Not bad. Hi, Sam. I was driving into town. How fun. But you might like to come along and have a couple of drinks. I'm having a couple of drinks. How's business? Great, great. Why don't you get out of this dump? Live a little. I've got a suite of rooms at the best hotel in town. This suits us. Look, Joe, these animals are going crazy. Something's gonna happen, I can feel it. Mike's already been killed, who's gonna be next? I'm as sorry about Mike as you are. It was a tough break, that's all. But he's got a wife and two kids. Okay, well, we'll send us some money. But he's dead. And there's gonna be a lot more tough breaks before this is over. You've been listening to your new partner too much. No. I've been listening to myself. Just a moment. It's the professor. Says he's been trying to find you. This time of night? Hello? Yeah? Yeah, if you say so. Okay. He's found something out. You coming along? Yeah, sure. Come in, gentlemen. Captain Ryan, the creature you have captured is not an adult specimen. You mean it isn't fully grown? No. In fact, we believe it is in rather early infancy. Are you trying to say there may be a fully grown one of these things around somewhere? It's a fair assumption. Where there are offspring, there are generally parents. How big would a full grown one be? An approximate guess. The infant. The adult. That will make it nearly 200 feet tall. At the very least. Obviously, the proper authorities must be notified at once. What are you trying to do? Stir up a whole hornet's nest because of a few calculations made on a piece of paper? Nuts to that. I'm afraid, Captain Ryan, the decision is no longer in your hands.
Admiral Brooks. I realize the situation is fantastic, but... One expects the fantastic from you scientists these days. Tell me, Admiral, have you ever seen the animal that was captured? I'm afraid I haven't had the time. Then perhaps you should take the time. And when you do, remember it first appeared at Nara Island. Monitor reports there's been no communication with Nara Island for three days, sir. Three days? Her Majesty's aircraft carrier, Royal Oak, from the Admiralty, Whitehall. Proceed to area N34 and report any unusual sightings or conditions in vicinity of Nara Island. This is priority A. Repeat, this is priority A. to Corvette. Alter course to 310. Repeat, course 310. Right. They've sighted something, sir. Port four points. Port four points. Aye, aye. Observation negative. Repeat, negative. Admiral Brooks. Gentlemen, you've been asked to come here to supply us with any information in your possession which might be helpful. Nara Island has been destroyed. Reconnaissance aircraft have sighted a creature in this area here. Excuse me, sir, that looks as though the thing's heading for England. Quite. And that in itself calls for an explanation. You have one? Well, we were playing a stream of water on it during the passage. It was Professor Flaherty's instructions. Maybe it left some sort of track. I see. Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. The Royal Oak for Admiral Brooks, please. Royal Oak coming in for Admiral Brooks. Good. They report at least two direct hits. You've killed it? It's disappeared beneath the sea. They've saturated the area of death charges. No living thing could escape. It's certainly been killed. Sunk with every man aboard. This is terrible. Well, all right, now what? What will you do? Turn that thing at the Festival Gardens loose. What else? Take it back to the sea where we still got a chance. What the hell's the matter with you? This is the 20th century. 
There must be some way of handling an overgrown animal. There's no doubt that we can stop the creature. We'll call you if we need you again. Good evening, gentlemen. the disaster of this afternoon, the loss of a destroyer with all hands, the Admiralty has deployed major forces of the NATO fleet off the mouth of the estuary in an attempt to locate and destroy the monster even before it reaches the coastal defences. West 25, flag to task for search 20 degrees west. For torpedo attack. Course 275, range 1500. Course 275, sir. Firing depth. Ready to open fire, sir. Fire one. Fire two. Attacking target in search area. Contact broken. Target moving toward the estuary. Too fast to follow. Get me submarine control, sector 2-8. We're just closing the last of the submarine nets now, sir. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes. One moment. The nets have been torn and the connection was gone. No, there's nothing further you can do now. The creatures got through. Smash the nets. Get me river patrol. And 
Just off the embankment, about 100 yards away. I can see the huge beast still advancing. The second line of defense has been organized, greatly reinforced. are out of the question. Ain't any built up area. Tanks, of course. Roll out, roll out! Off you go! Attention. This is a special bulletin. Civil defence authorities have declared a state of emergency for all London areas within three miles of the River Thames. up river directly towards us. Very good, sir. <laughs> Although the army indicates full confidence, they report growing casualties among their forces. We are told that Downing Street is in constant communication with other world capitals where grave concern is expressed. Call headquarters. Shoot the flares. Open sight fire. Stand by. Commence. Fire! London's oldest landmark smashed like matchwood. Nothing has stopped this beast so far, nothing. 
not even point blank cannon fire. Here's the tower bridge, Rob. Yeah, the part of this thing is fantastic. <laughs> Time of alert, sir? No, but stand by.
we'll be all right. of London. Words can't describe it. There's been nothing like it, not even the worst of the blitz. This section is complete shambles. People running mad with fear. Broken gas mains, fires everywhere. Piccadilly Circus. There's no way of telling where this thing will turn next. I don't care how important it is, you must interrupt. It's imperative that I speak to the minister at once. Let me know the moment you are. Thanks for coming. It's undoubtedly heading for Battersea Park, sir. That's the place to stop it. How much voltage do you estimate would be required for electrocuting this animal? Two million, three million volts? It's only a guess. There's not much precedent to go on, sir. Quite. Get me Battersea Power Station. Is he okay? He'll be all right. for a miracle. The entire electricity of all industrial London has been diverted to the wires surrounding the small animals enclosure. Will it be enough? Will it be enough to stop the huge beast? Will the miracle be granted? Or will it be yet another of man's puny efforts to oppose this irresistible force of ancient nature? Hey, Sam. Sorry, what's wrong?
entire circuit has just been completed, sir. What's the reading? Four billion volts and full amperage, sir. The wires won't take any more. Our prayers have been answered. A great city, overwhelmed, exhausted, lies helpless under the immeasurable power and ferocity of this towering apparition from before the dawn of history. And yet, as though disdaining the pygmies under her feet, she turns back, turns with her young, leaving the prostrate city, leaving the haunts of man leaving man himself to ponder the proud boast that he alone is Lord of all creation. We're going back now, back to the sea. 